Kato ya hao mudimu waka Hebe onai peta mapilong arona Leo se ngaka jeno mudimu waka elukile Lord we are there before your presence this morning Mudimu waka ya halalelang haona mudimu Ya tsaka tswan tswan lewe na lo se Jehova pelo tsarona di tla ho wena modimo wa ka ya lukile pita hape o minister e maphilong a rona ka tsela e gethele ntate wa ka we give honor and glory to your name this moment lord we shed all that is of weight in us so se modimo wa ka tse o gileng sita maphilong a rona le o senga ka jeno ntate wa ka ya lukile Lord, turn our situations into a new story, Mapilong Arona. Turn our names, Lord, to be a new song, Mapilong Arona. Let there be a new song in our hearts. Let there be a new song in our hearts. Mudimu akaya lukile mina hano ya rona. Maikuto arona mudimu akaya halalela. We bring them under the subject of the Holy Spirit. Ore mudimu akaya lukile. Oko robe tato ya rona luse mwana. Kere sama ya tato nyale nsula hao mudimu aka. Maya mwadume la kapasadumeli. Impa tato ya hao mudimu aka. Haikebe rona ya salama pilong arona. We are level of Akalibitola Chesum. So Mudimu Batubana Banana de la Hilwe. Empower and our ribusels and Mudimu Akaya Lukile. We were nobodies, Lord. But when we come to Christ, we became some people, Lord. We became from a level of being ordinary, Lord. From being extraordinary. For when we are in the presence of the living God, all things are settled. All things are settled. The money mo akalukile. Real level akalibito la che solo singona. We give all and glory to your name, O oh Lord. There's no God that we can bow before. Money mo akalukile. You are worthy, Father, that we can stand before you. That the real level akamadi a che so Christ. I lenga recha swa hororo na kibito e bana bahau. Indeed, Lord, it is not our works, but our faith in your works this morning. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, my own halalelang. Tatindao, exin wanam sanje, impilwen zabantu bako, baba wengwele. Awo kulume nati ngenze leke tegile. Baba si uuzwe. Bese senza uge anyezu lako. Mobalina man, Ali Chigiba, Balina man, Siabonga, thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. Can I get a nice hallelujah? A nice one. A much better one. A great one. And that is what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. Give, give them a round of applause, please. Uh, we operated on a, a skeleton a worship team today, but they did very good. Hallelujah. And the Lord is good. Uh, and the Lord is good. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Mudimu lukile. Shavanna. Mudimu lukile. Hey, we cannot pass this to someone else. It has to be us who says the Lord is good and look at us. We cannot afford to have a supercell. We cannot afford to have a supercell. 
We have to show God, Peter and Johanny. Where are we, Tina, right now? What kind of a New Testament are we busy writing? We must be all the time be the letter that can be read. Hallelujah. The pastor is greeting us in the wonderful name of his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know his internship or learnership. But it's one of those today. <laughs> in fact, on my first arrival here in, in, in Shining Light, she used to be one of my interpreters. So I guess now I, she forgot how I move and what I like and what I don't like. But here, because I want everybody to hear the message. And now remember, not only you who are sitting here, those who are even watching us on YouTube who welcome you this morning. In the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we are a church that is on the move. Then if you see somebody's like her put a makeup eye I know it's because we are a church on the move. When you see somebody not taking his luggage in a nice way. We are in a mission. We are in a hurry. There's somewhere where we are going. This morning I wore a, a nice, I said formal. Yeah, I wanted to be formal this morning. Muruti wanted to be presentable. Even putting up a jacket. But when I was about to touch the door, my brother, I said, no, 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 no. Let me put these things there. Then disturb because I'm in a journey. They make you stand in a certain way, raise your hands on a certain way. I want to be free in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be here? Are you happy to be here? Are you happy to hear what the Lord is going to say to us this morning? Because he cannot not fail us. He never fails us. And therefore, we, we did relaunch. Uh, I think this will be, might be the last Sunday that I repeat this. And, and we, we immediately after that, we spoke on the series on the logo. Then we spoke about the cross. What is the importance of the cross to us? Why we believe there's something that God has done on the cross for us. And we spoke about the Holy Spirit as a form of a dove in our lives. And we spoke about the streams or the river that has to flow. And we took claim out of that. I remember well those words. I'm holding them so tight in my hand. That we should bear the fruits and will be like leaves that are bringing healing. And we ended our series that time with the logo or the motto. With the motto or the slogan. When we say it is not our works but our faith in in his works. Not our works but our faith in his works. And that on its own it qualifies us as people that are having a testimony. Ah. Mm. Ah. The more you say that it is his works not mine. How you have a testimony. And therefore the question is during this course of this week what is it that you have done that has proved that it is not your works but your faith in his works it should be our desire all the time to do that 
Look here. Uh, uh, ah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so this morning, we are on a threshold. And now, when you, you, you are on a threshold, or on the edge, there's only one assurance. First thing that people like to do when they are on the edge but uh, 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 we, we want to hold on. We want to hold on there. Because we don't know what is happening on the other side. And as a result, we are holding on tightly. For we trust our strength of holding on. But in holding on like that, not long, you start to experience pains because your muscles start to report to you. It is no longer the same brother or sister. You have to let go. But now in this age that I'm talking of, when you go on to that kind of a level, how oh, yeah, well, oh. you, 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 you went there at your own speed that you like to take to go there. But when once you hold on, something changes. If you let go, it's either you are on this side or that side. But here's something that I want to underline and you take note of. As you went into that edge, I said you'd use your own speed to reach there. But when you let go, or you move over, oh, you are no longer in control of the speed. Because it's either you're gonna slide quickly, or you're gonna fall back quickly. Because now it is no longer you who is in charge. The determination is control, or it's you, everything is determined on the slope. Or what is on this other side of your back? Or what is on this other side of your back? Or what is on this other side of your I said, we, we relaunch, we are on the move, we are in the hurry, I took the jacket off, here I am, and now I'm working like this, so that keep a freak, move it's in. and I told you about the edge, and that you, you made a choice what kind of a speed you are using to get on this edge. But once you let go of this, choices is, you let go, you fall back, or you jump over. But even when you jump over, the speed is no longer determined by you. Yeah. So now, that, Jesus Christ, the church of Jesus Christ, we need to stand for something as a church. Your, your DNA, your, your identity, it has to be known when also Kabulela next. 
So we need. The type of a church that we want to be will determine the shape of a community that we want to see. We are a reflection of the community. The community might not be the reflection of the church. If the church is not involved in the community, it might not have a picture of the church. But the community reflect quickly what type of a church are we. So the question is, are we influencing the community or the community is influencing the church? And I believe that we want to be an effective church. Not just effective, but effective for God's kingdom. Being a true agent in God's hand, and as a result, we want to see a smooth running of a church, church that is full of uh, uh, energy to serve the Lord, church that loves its community, church that will really have a, a youth ministry that runs smooth. Where parents are able to bring their children to that ministries, be kids or other ministry, when there's a clarion that says, Hey, what happened? Hey, what's what you know? Hello, and hello, but I can say, I can fit in the So, we need to understand what kind of a church we want to be. The church that will bring influence into its community. So, the way we think and planning doesn't start next week. It has started. And now, whether we like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, regret it or, or, or not, what you need to know is this one. The old has passed. Okay, let me be more specific. The old church has passed. That old shining light, the Ella. And, and you know, the Lord has told me something about this all the time when I say that. that there are people that are getting angry when they hear that word. The and why are you getting angry when you hear that? Because the oldest past, the new has come. And the Lord says, can't you perceive what I'm busy doing now? I'm doing a new thing here. And now it's not a matter of how the lady feels or the other person feels. But we need to know that what we are aiming for, if it is not inspired by the Holy Spirit, therefore, we got to go home. The course, the path that we take should be led by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I believe God is busy preparing this church for his future glory. And therefore, this morning, I present to you the series that we'll be doing for the next three weeks beside today. And we said, Hare Ahe. And we said, we have to build. 
what does it mean har haeng asa ke me i know you zim guys are going to correct me ngati vake is it the correct one oh i'm yeah, good then yeah. mm-hmm. oh i must learn 10 some sentences to preach in yeah. in shona na <laughs> so har haeng let us build but there's something that I want us to do this morning short time. We call it spiritual anguish. If nothing moves you, you will go nowhere. There must be something that moves you. Or if nothing moves you, nothing will happen. But if there is a stirring in your heart, movement happens so quickly. Yesterday I said that we are a church that is not a ministry, on a ministry mode when I spoke with our partners yesterday. Uh, but we are a church that is on the movement mode. We are not a ministry church that is on the mode. We are a church that is on the movement mode or missional mode. Now, we are not that church that we enjoy only the fellowship. The church that worries about its programs, uh, what to do. No, we are a church that sees itself as an agent that God is sending out. Time has to be now that when our service ends here, two, three people need to come to me and say, Muruti, don't you have a, um, what they call it, Kanama? Uh, loud hailer. You know, this uh, loud hailer that we are using. I must be able to say, why, why you want this? Then I don't know, Muruti. I have seen the time and I have to go there and proclaim the gospel. I have to occupy places to preach the gospel. And once we do that, we will see the results of us to come here and gather like this. I thought I'll get a very good amen, you know? Amen. So the church that we should be is a church that has to impact my pillow about. And now, you need to know this thing. Mudim, God, he places his desire in the heart of a man or woman. Mudimu has a mudimu operate on the trends. Because you know, if I can ask from there to this point, what is it the Lord has ever said to you? Have you ever done it? Have you done that? Many of us we will take it as our imagination. But God lays something every time to a human being so that we will be stirring in his heart. And when that happens, it has to be done by the Holy Spirit uh, you know, and when, the when prayer. You know, when the flame will not come unless we begin 
you have to, to move make sure now. there is some fire in the space. So I say that I, I, I'm talking on the spiritual anguish. There is nobody who wants to get angry or hurt. But when we are the safe child of God, there's a point where you're supposed to experience spiritual anguish in you. Yes, you know, you, you must experience that pain in you. Hey, I had a holy anger. But where is the spiritual anguish? Because once you start to experience that pain, then you start to inquire from the Lord. And God will respond to you. And every time what I've noticed how God operates when it comes to that. It starts with a leader to pick what the Lord is doing. Israel had uh, Zerubbabel as a leader when they went into exile. And, they had, and people were hearing him, but not that well, and then came Ezra. Ezra rally the people, rally the people, pray for the people, pray. Uh, the people. But everyone was so busy. But one of the busy. And God raised a name by the a guy by the name of Nehemiah. To lead the nation. There's a level of anointing or grace. That is said for a certain time and period. There's a grace for a certain time. Oh. And once you miss what God is doing or what God is saying through his servant, then you're going to miss it out. Because unfortunately, that is, God has set it on a certain leader at a certain time. And that leader is not somebody special. It's just a mere human being. But it has to take a level of spiritual anguish. The word of God said that the also of Jerusalem were broken. And nobody cares about that. Or Marako Awele, or you know what? Kereke man, kikereke chi because it's kikereke. Who knows? Now, mutu hatu atela or Marako a Jerusalem Awele. And now you need to take note. Jerusalem was not just about the walls. Utlamia utiba or Jerusalem was the city of God. Utlamia utiba or ki. Jerusalem was a holy place of God. That was neglected, neglected by people. Mobatu went on with his own business. You know, every time when you use that term in English, everybody goes on with his own business. Ah, but when I isolate because literally running a certain business. The business I'm talking about. I'm talking about you. Let me bring it closer. I'm talking about you deciding Sunday to wake up, wash, and come to church, go home. Come to church next week, Sunday, go home. That is, the, that is the business you decided to, that I will be in this kind of a business. And 
And the people can acquire ya Nehemiah. The people in that time of Nehemiah. They neglected the house of the Lord. And just being audience all the time. So there was nothing that was touching them, Hori. There's something that is missing in the house of the Lord. There was something missing of being at a space of anguish. And if you don't experience that, it is because you are not in that space. But it took Nehemiah to bring change into Jerusalem. Now we are people who are not taking care of the house of the Lord as we're supposed to. And that makes us sometimes we find ourselves being people who watch it happen. Or people who make it happen. And people who wonder what happened. You see how the pastor put his scent. You wonder what is happening here. But it has to take spiritual anguish. That you say, Lord, I'm here, I want to serve you. We don't want to be church people. But we want to be the instruments that God can use. And those who are holding tight. And allow themselves to fall on the other side of the edge. Let me encourage you in the book of Isaiah chapter 6. Uh, can you put up in up there? Isaiah chapter 6. No longer will violence be heard in your land. No ruin or destruction within your borders. But you will call your walls. Salvation, Salvation in your gates, praise. No longer will violence be heard in your land. No ruin or destruction within your borders. Mm. But you will call your walls to salvation. And your gates praise. But instead, Jerusalem was a place of shame. Jerusalem was a place of neglect and a place full of discouragement. Isaiah is making this promise to you. There will be no longer violence beyond on your borders. No distraction in your place. But where? But you. You'll call your walls. Salvation and your gates shall and be a place of praise. Mm. Let me just read. 
There shall be no more destruction in your place. You shall call your gates a place of praise. Your walls will be called a place of salvation. It doesn't matter what anybody says. But your place will be a place of salvation. Yeah. He's listening to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your walls will be called the walls of salvation. Your gates will be a praising place. There shall be no shame on you again. No curse will stick on you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, bring us to a space of anguish, yeah. deep pain. That's what, Lord, we need. Hey. Deep pain. But in some miracle, how much Bring us to a space, Lord, yeah. where there be more desire for the souls Lord, yeah. that are perishing. Bring us to a place, Holy Spirit, that we cry out to raise these walls. Yeah. <laughs> so they become walls of salvation. I hear Holy Spirit moving among people, his people in the right now. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. This place shall be not a place yeah, of shame, yeah, but yeah, it will yeah, be a place yeah. of salvation in yeah. us, Lord. This will be our refuge, Lord yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Help us not to neglect what yeah, we have placed yeah, yeah, us yeah, before, yeah. Lord, in this place. In the name of Jesus. But my Bible says, when Nehemiah heard the hearing of walls are down, he was broken in his spirit. He heard deep pain, which is anguish. When we can draw a parallel between the church and the spiritual life that we, have, we find ourselves in as a church, it will put us into a space where really if we worship the Lord in truth and in spirit, it will take us into that space of having that kind of an anguish. Listen, church, I'm not talking about excitement. I'm not talking numbers in church. I'm not talking miracles. But I speak about the desire of going out and winning the souls for the Lord. If there's a major thing that the Lord wants from us is to bring hope to somebody's life. Amen. 
As we are in the process of building. Harili na kwenyea wa aha. A shining light that can serve fully to a total person. Shining light eta kwenye Take this encouragement in the book of Nehemiah 1, verse 3 to 4. Put up in there, please. One, they three, said two. to me, those who have survived the exile are back in the provinces, are in great trouble and distress or disgrace. Yes, Jesus. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down. And its gates have been burned with fire. When I heard this thing, I sat down and wept for some days. And fasted and prayed before God of heaven. When Nehemiah heard about this, he became in the mode of having an anguish or emotions of pain. And when he heard this, he poured out his heart to God of heaven. It is only somebody who is prayerful that will be able to know when now times are tough, where to run to? Our refuse to go to our God. We go to him with prayer. But if our lives are lives of prayerless, will cause you to turn to somebody else will cause you to turn to things thinking we can get some form of refuge from. But a prayerful person will always inquire from the Lord. Now, I want to show you the mind of Nehemiah in that This man risked the status of the That he was safe in the Actually, he hid his pain inside. But his face, when he appeared before the king, it shows that there is something concerning him. And he ended up telling the king what is happening. And knowing that the king, if he gives him permission to go, he asks something. Oh my God. Arumorena. Are the king. Mpemangolo because I know opposition is in front of me. Are give me letters. One kia tiba ki huna le mana. Aba huna lili raka pila. Kiko kopana li ba o mudimu mbasa batli nki tuwa le pili kama sebe tuwa hao. I'm going to meet with those who will hinder me to do your work. You gotta hear me in the spirit. Mudimu mrena mpemangolo. Give me letters the key. For I know where I'm going to pass. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. And the king gave him letters. Now Nehemiah in his prayer. Oh my God. He, he shows intense of emotions. In that he affirms. Acknowledge. Upon us, he, he acknowledges all that God, you are sovereign. And you are God of the covenant. You are not just God. You are not God, you are not God of luck. You are not God of, 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 of blessings. You are God of the covenant. Thank you, Jesus. And he confesses his sins. Not only his sins, but the sins of the nation. 
their unfaithfulness he prayed before God and how disobedient they have been he prayed before God and he reminds Mudimu about his promises oh. his word and his promises are yes and amen to us Thank Thank you, Jesus. his promises of restoring his church and bringing new life to his people. That is why he says in the stream there will be life. But the final thing that the, the church or the nation has to do, they had to repent before God. They had to repent before God. Now, church, how can we begin to feel pain? How can we start to have uh, this deep pain in us? For our church that God has placed us at, have pain to pray that God, we, we pray that you bring your revival in a special way upon us. Lord, we pray that we cannot set a date, but you bring it, Lord. Lord, bring healing to us as a church. Bring it, Lord, to us. But that comes with a spirit of repentance. If there's something that has to bind us as people in this church, we should be bound by having the desire to see the work of God going forward. The need of a church should be the thing that can bring us together. But not something that causing us to be divided. But it should be something that brings us together. Because we're in a journey with the Lord here. It is not them and them. But it is us with our God. I say it is us and with our God. It is us with our God. And only if we build out of anguish. That we cease will understand that indeed it is not our works. There will be no one who wants to remind somebody that, remember I did this in this church. Because our work is in vain if we do that. And now, in order to build such a thing, Nehemiah surveyed the land. Check everything. Sold the walls that were down, the bricks that were down. He got disappointed. He was told, okay, you are a stupid, you are a fool. How can you build with such? But we need a brick in order to build. We need a brick to build. We don't need a brick to throw. So, we need a brick to build, not a brick to throw. Come Don't throw a brick at me. But bring the brick to build. Not to throw to others. That brick. Oh my God. I wish it can be something that is written. With capital letters. It shall happen. 
It shall happen. Not something that you can throw to somebody. But something that you can profess on it. That it shall happen. Not the discouraging letters. Not talking down on that brick. Like they did to Nehemiah. But how can you build the with charred stones? How can you build? But we need a brick that says it shall happen. A right attitude that says, Lord, I, I hear you and I will follow and do. And we committed ourselves as leaders in this church. And, and we challenged you too. That you commit with us in rebuilding what the Lord wants to do. And that brick, we decided to call it Nehemiah Brick. I told you that I, 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 I don't like manipulating people. Check. not me. the church is the one that needs money, not the pastor. But here is a question. Putoki. The Bible says when Nehemiah, after hearing the whole thing, what is happening in the church? Remember the days we sat down with you, we spoke with you, we went, we took you to the to the fountain. Remember all those times. Remember the meetings that we've been doing with you. Did you sit down and maybe thought about this whole thing? Have you mourned? Have you fasted? Have you prayed to the God of heaven? And ask him, Why you need to cry before God, get the answer from the Lord, that the Lord help you. Deep anguish, which is a deep pain in you. For the Lord to bring a promise that your walls will call the place of salvation and your gates place of praise. I want to, as I'm standing here, um, the group that I remember was sitting here of evangelism. Take whatever your back, whatever, walk towards this side here. All those who were with um, Ruth's Tolle walk here to come and sit here. I remember very well, you were sitting here. You were sitting here. Or oh, it was a hospitality that side. Those who were with us, I'm talking about the Sunday before the lunch. Come and sit there with us, if you remember, I said those who are, you feel like you have, you have this desire of uh, caring for people who, that we call Abake. Come this side. Hospitality. Come and sit here. Everybody sit down when I was now. look on. It's fine. We are still in church. If you are on hospitality or you love to, to serve people, come and sit here. So, 
So you who are seated there, get slow. Who are sitting down there? If you like, you are a person that knows that the Lord has called me for prayer. You know that I have a passion for bringing the soul into the kingdom. Come and sit here. You are a visitor or whoever you are, you are fine. Come and sit here. Then if you say, I love to, to pray and journey with people, and I, I'm, I'm this type of a person that likes to pick up a phone and call people and ask them, how are you doing? Does the Lord, uh, uh, how can I help you? Come and sit here. If you say, eh, come and sit there. If you like, you say, I, I like to worship. Come and sit here. I really believe God has called me to, into something. Come and sit here in terms of worship. This is evangelism. Please join them. Feel free to join them wherever. I've given you one, two, three, four categories. Let us do the failure. Go the little baby put it. Yalloko Pavanabis. There's something that you are going to do. There's none who's neutral. Some of them will belong and take. Evangelism, abake, worship, hospitality, turn around to those chairs.